Today I'm going to show you how to build a URL based weather query in a matter of seconds using the Visual Crossing Weather Query page. You can then use this URL query inside any script or coding language such as Java, Python, Perl, or PHP to fetch weather information. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply click on the orange button on the right hand side of the login area. There you can sign up for a free trial account that will allow you to follow along. The first thing I'll do is to enter the location for my weather query. In this example, I'll choose Manual Address Entry and then click on the link to populate the location field based on my current location here in Virginia. I'll also enter a name for my location so that I can easily identify it later in the data. As a simple example, I'll choose a 15-day forecast query displayed at the hourly level. However, I could just as easily choose a weather history query or build a more complex calculation such as an historical weather summary query. Initially, the interface will show me a weather calendar view. If I want to see more detail, I can switch to the grid view instead in order to see the details for each hour's forecast. However, in this example, I want to show you how easy it is to build a query URL to return these results into your own application or web page. All that I need to do is to click on the Query API button at the top of the page. The system will instantly generate a query URL based on the parameters that I entered a moment ago in the interface. I can now copy this URL into my own application or test it directly here to see the data that will be returned. As you can see, the query URL returns the 15-day forecast directly as CSV, which is easily parsable in most scripts and coding languages. Alternately, I could have changed the parameter and have gotten JSON output instead. An important point to note is that this query URL embeds my Visual Crossing Weather API key. This key is your authentication token, so make sure to use your own token in every URL query that you run. If you would like to learn more about forecasts, weather history, and historical summary data queries, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.